Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to drop foreign key constraints in SQL Server database for all the tables. This question or video can be used as an interview question and the real-time scenario, this could be possible when you are working as a SQL Server developer and your team want to load some data. Maybe there is an ETL team, they want to load the data into SQL Server database and they don't care about any data validation and if uh, it is uh, violating uh, the foreign key constraint, uh, they want you to drop uh, all the foreign keys uh, so they can load the data and then you can recreate the foreign keys after that. Uh, you will not be checking uh, for existing data. That's uh, another video I have done how to ignore uh, the previous data or existing data when you are creating the foreign key constraint. Uh, I suggest you watch that video. Now, let's go ahead and open uh, techbrothersit.com once you open that website you will be going to the sql server t sql tutorial i have already written the script and posted as a uh, on the tech brothers it as a post so you can copy from there and use it we'll be going to the number eight here under the chapter six and we have foreign key constraints how to draw foreign key constraint in sql server so click here and uh, we will be copying uh, this uh, script copy come to the ssms uh, sql server management studio and uh, open a new query paste the query here and then change the database uh, in which you have the tables and foreign key relationships uh, in my case it is tech brothers it so we are all good here next uh, i'm using uh, a system of view so as it gives me information such as uh, schema name object name and uh, I can build a query from here. Think about if I have a hundred tables and I have created a primary key and foreign key relationship maybe for 50 of them, then what happened? I cannot type all those drop statements by myself. It will take me forever to do it. Here, I'm taking the advantage of system tables. Once I gather that information, I can simply go ahead and create the statements by using some static values and some column values. So here I'm saying alter table and then I'm saying get me the schema from schema ID and then I need a table name and I'm getting the table name by using object name function when I pass the parent object ID from this view and then I'm saying drop constraint and I need the constraint name and then I finally say as my drop constraint query. So you can go ahead and run this query. It will generate the drop constraint query for you. So it, in our case, it is that we are dropping the foreign key constraint though. So this is how your queries will be. You just copy all these queries. Click here. Let's say you click on top of that, say copy. We don't need the header. Open a new query and paste. And you can go ahead and run it and it will drop all the foreign key constraints in a SQL Server database. In our case, it is Tech Brothers IT and uh, the drop key constraint, uh, sorry, drop key, drop foreign key constraint, it is like this. So if you need to generate a statement, you will say alter table, DBO, or whatever the schema you have, and provide the table name. Then you will say drop constraint and constraint name. So this is very simple. You can write if you have the time for 50 foreign keys, but in my case, I always recommend using system views and generating the statements dynamically so you don't have to worry you have missed something or you have put extra parentheses or all that so you can simply use this statement to generate these state drop foreign key constraints statements for entire database i hope this video will help and i will see you guys in the next video